the case that stuck in my mind was if we have someone who is living their best life in their mom's basement yes and they're gaming all day they're completely not doing anything yeah. there's a natural tendency to even if they say that they're they're really happy to be yeah. like you're not doing what's natural you're not doing what's right yeah so would you say that applies to this case of someone trying to sell their kidney it just doesn't feel right yeah i'm actually so glad you made that connection it makes me feel good as a teacher <laughs> That's, I think exactly the kind of connection that would have been the connection I would have wanted you to make in class. Yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. It's um, uh, we we do have a sense that um, there are like constraints on people's activity that are independent of happiness and maybe even independent of their autonomy and their freedom. Like another kind of example would be um, well, like think of like a friend you know who's like head over heels in love with someone and it's almost kind of degrading what they're willing to do for this person. Like they, the other person doesn't really care about them. And this, and then the person, you know, because they're so infatuated with them is like willing to like, you know, wake up at any time and drive them 